of the groups strongly challenging the new charges are the lawyers of the Nigerian Bar Association Ikeja branch. The chairman of the branch says the lawyers are opposed to what he calls excessive taxation. We, we are opposed as a branch to this regime of taxes. Not only the land use charges, we have the car registration fee, we have the litigation fee in courts. These are samples and examples of um, excessive, oppressive, undemocratic, parochial, and primitive taxation. First, we are against these taxes for the reason, one, jurisprudentially. It's a democracy. In a democracy, power belongs to the people. The people are the master. The government is their servants. You can't be wiser and smarter than your master. If you are in a democracy, you must lead a government that is responsible, accountable to those people and responsive to them. Uh, if uh, if it exists, what you do is that before you do legislation, you do consultation. This is a taxes, taxation is always a very sensitive area. It's deep in society. Nobody ordinarily wants to spend money. We have to be forced to pay much higher rent. It's difficult for our people. You didn't consult. They are now doing dialogue. They are now meeting with stakeholders after legislation. So if this government understand democracy and have respect for the people, you, they will not put the cart before the horse. That's one. Then secondly, legally, what they have done, even with the old law, is against the constitution that nobody has taken time to challenge them. By the first schedule of the constitution, land use charges at the province exclusive province of local governments. If you look at the old law that was regulating the old regime, it was saying that the Commission of uh, Finance will be the one to make assessments, fix the rates, and that in trying to beat the constitutional provision that the local governments may delegate their power to the state to be collecting. You can see how absurd. There is no way that any reasonable tribunal of law or court will not strike down that particular provision. And so, and you know, it's a, it becomes a bit ridiculous when people are, who are calling for, they want to have their own state police and everything, they, now they want to deny constitutional provision in favor of the local governments. That's the government of the grassroots. Then economically, let me just tell you, what Governor Pode is doing is to follow the footpath of his predecessor. Governor Fashola was, Increase the school fees paid in Lasso from 250 naira to 50,000 naira. 250 naira times 10 is 2,005, times 10 is 25,000, double that, more than 10,000, 10,000, 100,000 increase. And that was the gentleman has done. We have instances of people, people are members, somebody paying 135,000 in their office building or some kind of a thing like that, suddenly being served with 2 million naira to be paid and all that kind of a thing. It's not, it's, it's not reasonable. Yes, he wants to develop Lagos into a mega city, into a smart city and all that. Is it, is it not meant for people? At what cost? Everything's at what cost? The NBA Kedja chairman says the lawyers will stage a protest if the state government doesn't reverse the charges. We've given the government, as gentlemen, seven days to have a rethink. And the protest, so far has not attracted any response from uh, government. Do they want to come and speak with us? Yes, but the thing is this. The spontaneity of response to our call for action shows that there's much disaffection of the people with the Lagos State Government of Akin Wumiambodi. On Tuesday, God's spare our lives MB Kedja, now being supported by other professional bodies, so it's important for you to pass that on, and civil society will stage what we call Operation Walk the Talk Against Oppressive Taxation 
and an insensitive governance. And the duty of the MB Ikeja has been stated for us by the first ever Nigerian lawyer, William Shakara, who said he became a lawyer in 1988. He said the role of the lawyer in a developed country is to do what? Is to lead his people, to emancipate his people, show them the way, like Adam Daziki said, and the people will follow. And that's what we are doing. We are being very faithful to our leaders and to the mantra of our profession that says promoting the rule of law. On his part, the Lagos State Governor, Mr. Akil Miambode, has said his administration is not oblivious of the hue and cry generated by the revised land use charge law. He also says that the government is ready to dialogue to resolve the issues going forward. We'll keep our eye on how things unfold and keep you informed of the developments as we go on. Still to come on the program, the CJN has again taxed judges on the need to sustain public confidence in the judiciary. Join us again. Thank you.